everyone, today's kitchen will be governed by my husband, David Marshall. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so today he's going to prepare quiche for everybody for tonight's dinner. So here he comes with his recipe. Ta-da! To make this quiche, we have to make the shell first. Okay, we need eight ounces of flour and a pinch of salt. Now we sift the flour and the salt. Sifting the flour now with the salt. Okay. This helps not to be lumpy of the flour. Most flour you buy today is pre-sifted. Is it the reason why we don't sift the flour anymore? Sometimes. Five ounces of butter. You can use sorted or unsorted. We do this first, then we will add two tablespoons of water. Incorporating the butter and the flour. Make sure your butter is kind of on the soft side. And it's too hard. Have a stick to your pastry blender. Now, two tablespoons of, of water. Two tablespoons of water. And with a wooden spoon, stir until it forms a ball. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more water, but do it gradually. You've got to get all the butter off to incorporate the flour. You need a little bit more water. Just a little bit. Mix. With clean hands, my hands are clean. Mush it together until it forms a ball. You can feel it gradually there. I might have to add more water. Because I've still got a little flour that needs to be incorporated into this bowl. But keep on kneading it like you do bread. If you do add too much water to your dough, just add a little bit more flour to your pastry. Is that the trick, love? Yeah. It's gradually getting there. You can see, it's gradually, I've got a little bit more flour to do. Now it's coming up, I can feel it now. To the consistency, I would like it. Uh, 
Ayan yung cho. We're nearly there. Yes, we're there. Now with two hands. Now we let it rest a bit. Because you've been playing with it and you got to have it rested for a while. But in the meantime, prepare your dish and grease it. Put it in the pan and a little bit of kitchen paper. You can grease. Grease the sides well, otherwise your pastry will stick. Must be kitchen paper because it's not a melted butter. How about if you use the melted butter? No, oh, it's no. not possible. You need is grease as it is cooking. All grease. Pour in the edges so the pie won't fall apart. And discard this. Now we leave this to rest over here. Our pastry pie dish is embuttered. Now we have to prepare for our Filling. Use your scales again. Okay, so three ounces of, of cheese. Aged again. cheese. Because it's got a nice strong flavor. is quite a lot. Yeah. There's our three ounces of cheese. And oh, cheese. cheddar. Eggs. Wash your eggs first before you crack them. Before you eggs. Now whisk the eggs up, get a bowl, get 300 ml or quarter of a pint if you're in the old system. Pour it with your mixture. Now with a, with a fork, incorporate it all. So the cheese and milk is all combined. Now, you can add with quiche, you can add anything to your quiche. But tonight, I'm going to add bacon. Ready? Egg mixture. Set aside, and now we will do our pastry. And your dough. It's been resting for a while. Now, with a rolling pin, able. We just, just fine. Okay, we put the pie plate here on your pastry, and with a sharp knife, just go around and cut the excess pastry. And Bob Trump is done. Take the eggs of pastry. Now 
and your grease dish. Okay. okay. He already topped or face up pastry shell. So that's the outcome. Yeah, that's the outcome. Quiche and pour it into your pastry shell. Make sure you get all your goodies. Spray, especially when you're using liquids in the oven, you don't want to mess. Okay, we can put it in a in a preheated oven at 400 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Then we'll turn it down to 325 for half an hour. While that's cooking, you can clean up. Finally, the quiche is out from the oven. So now our quiche is at the table. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. This is Tita Ruth's Kitchen. Bye.